Prophet Jesus was a mighty messenger of God, and he was only a mortal human being. He was born from a mother. He ate and he drank. He slept and used the bathroom. He suffered pain and emotions. This differentiates him from the God the Almighty, as God does not need to eat, sleep, or drink. He was only a servant and slave of God. The idea of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the concept that Jesus died for our sins is firmly rejected in Islam. O people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of God. And his word, which he directed to Mary and a soul created at command from him, so believe in Allah and his messengers and do not say three. Desist, it is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God. Exalted is he above having a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth. And sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs. Quran 4, 171. God makes it clear in the Holy Quran that the act of ascribing a son to him angers him. Ascribing a son to God is beneath the Almighty, God states. And they say the most beneficent Allah has begotten a son or offspring or children. Indeed, you have brought forth a terrible thing, whereas by the heavens are almost torn and the earth is split asunder and the mountains fall in ruins that they ascribe a son to the most beneficent. But it is not suitable for the most beneficent that he should beget a son. Quran 88-92 According to the Quran, the one that calls God a part of the Trinity is the disbeliever who will face a painful punishment. The Quran states, They have certainly disbelieved who say, Allah is the third of three, and there is no God except one God. And if they do not desist from what they are saying, there will surely afflict the disbelievers among them a painful punishment. Quran 5-73 the Qur'an then goes on to say, The Messiah, son of Mary, was not but a messenger. Other messengers have passed before him, and his mother was a supporter of truth. They both used to eat food. Look how we make clear to them the signs. Then look how they are deluded. Qur'an 5.75 It's important to mention that Prophet Jesus did not come down with a new law, nor did he come to abolish the Old Testament, the Torah. Rather, he came to affirm, teach, and preach the previous law, the law of Moses. According to the Qur'an and the Bible, the children of Israel were veering away from the laws and disobeying the commandments of God. Prophet Jesus' mission was to confirm the Torah that was previously sent to render certain things lawful in an effort to facilitate life for the children of Israel and to proclaim and reaffirm the belief in the one God. Prophet Jesus was the last in a long line of messengers sent to the Jewish people. Prophet Jesus and the book he came down with, the Injil, the Gospel, was not meant for non-Israelites. According to the Bible, Jesus said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of Israelites. Matthew 15, 24. In another verse, these twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the city of the Gentiles, and into the city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 10, 5-6. So my dear Christian brother and sister, why are you spreading the gospel to those for whom it was never meant? Jesus clearly stated that he was sent only to the children of Israel and not for everyone else. God has sent another book after the gospel, his final book, the Holy Quran, and his last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, which is meant for our nation, the last nation, to exist on earth until the end of time.